And as the nation prepares for what is touted as the mother of all protests in the country, youth groups in the country have converged in Abuja and the federal capital territory in preparation for the nationwide protests. The youth groups also in equivocal stated reasons and demands for the planned nationwide protests at a press conference before the media. The demands include call for the increase of the recently proposed minimum wage from 70 naira, 70,000 naira, beg your pardon, to 250,000 naira, as well as a parallel wage package for appointed and elective officers. They also demanded a taxation system that will take in consideration the wealth gap between the rich and the poor and a loan system that is designed to make students debtors. The right to protest is fundamental in a democracy and we believe that every responsible government knows this and must never guard nor intimidate citizens from expressing such rights. We at the Delta State Civil Society community believe that civil protests are vital for the health and vitality of a democracy. We hold that they ensure that the government remains responsive to the needs and rights of its citizens. It promotes civic engagement and leads to meaningful societal progress. We, however, hope that embarking on the street protest at this time of our collective existence as a union of many nations is a deliberate orchestration to end Nigeria and not a patriotic passion to end bad governance, nor hunger has been brandished before us all. Indeed, the planned 1st of August 2024 mass action is a diabolical machinization of political priests of bad to hoodwink compromised citizens into the gallows of death and feed of blood. The reincarnates of Jim Jones are determining their infertile rascality and narrow satanic pursuit to enter Nigerian nation as ignominious record holders of national suicide, Harakiri. While we completely agree that there is unprecedented hunger in the land, we do not agree that the solution to end this hunger is to mobilize the angry and hungry citizens to the street where they will be further exposed to the perpetuation of many humanity to man. Using the sorry state of our national affairs to mobilize traumatized citizens to pursue and score bitter political point is not patriotism nor nationalism. They also demanded that the government respects the rights of free protest as enshrined in the constitution stating that no protester should be harassed, arrested, molested or killed during the August 1st to 10th protest. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.